Welcome to the Polysolid and Revolve command, part 2. Okay, so the next command, which I will draw, we'll go dash view, underscore top, and then we'll pan just over here. Now the next thing I want to show you guys is the revolve command. Now what we want to do here is we want to draw our shape. As I'll show you, we just choose line and we draw our shape. I'll just start here. We'll come down on an angle. And then we'll come down straight. And we'll step out. Give it a bit of an edge. And across. I'll actually, um, what I'll do is I'll go into 2D mode. There we go, that's much better for you guys to see. And we'll continue. So we'll go across this way until we're stepped out a little bit, like so. Then back up, and then close that one off. We can just choose C if we want. Oh, nope. It didn't like that. So we'll actually close it off manually. Like so. Now, this is basically a cross section of what we want to revolve. Now, what it does is it takes that, and it takes that as one slice, and it revolves it around in whatever angle we want. So it revolves it for 360, and I'll show you might be the best way. We'll revolve, type the revolve command, hit enter. We select the objects we want to revolve, we hit enter again. Now we specify the axis. Now what we can do is we can put the axis right along this line, which means there will be no, no hollow part in the inside here, or we can make the axis away a little bit. So we will now have a 80 diameter circle cut through the middle like so and now we choose that as our axis and now specify angle of revolution we want it to go the full 360 so hit enter and it's done that there and what we do choose conceptual and we orbit around that and as you can see it's taken that shape and it has revolved it all the way around to give us the lip and the little down part and the um, the slant there on the edge and the hole through the middle that we specified by choosing our axis. Okay, what I'll do is we'll just go back and what I'll do is I'll show you if we made the axis the same. Just going to draw this line in again. And now we type the revolve command and we select our objects and this time we'll put the axis straight here so it revolves it directly around and this will be a solid object it won't have this the gap circle in the middle the empty space now the angle of revolution again is 360 see it's revolved it around there to conceptual and we will orbit this See how it's a solid object now? Because we chose the angle of rotation, the axis of rotation, I should say, to be directly with it. So now it looks a lot like a witch's hat, but without the hole through the middle. Okay, we might actually make a witch's hat. We'll go back and we'll make a witch's hat. There we go. And we'll revolve. Now the axis will make it nice and close, straight down here, so there is a little bit of a gap in there, just like a witch's hut. Angle of revolution, then we change to conceptual, we orbit. That's probably a little bit small for a witch's hut's hole, but that's alright. 
So there we go. There's our witch's hat. I'll actually, I'll just get back and make that. I'm being a perfectionist, but I'll make that hole a little bit bigger. Okay, so revolve. That also gives you guys another chance to see exactly how this works. And 360 degree revolution, as you can see. Hit enter. Go to our conceptual and we orbit. And that's looking better. That's looking like a witch's hat to me. And then what we do is we have to 3D move that, move that in 3D space. But in order to do that, what we have to do is we have to make it all a block because it's all in separate pieces at the moment. So I'm just going to select it all. Type the block command. I'll call it Witch's Hut. And now I can 3D move. Specify the object. Specify the base point. Sorry, actually I know why that wasn't working. I was choosing the wrong command. If we want 3D rotate, is the command we want, not 3D move. No wonder it was trying to move it. And we select the object, we specify the base point, then we've got this neat little uh, sphere, and we choose which axis we want to rotate it on. We want to rotate it on that red one, the X axis. You can choose the green uh, Y axis, or the blue Z axis. As you can see, it puts in a little line to show you which one, but we want to use the red one around the x-axis, so we choose that. We want to rotate at an angle of 90 degrees, and that's done. She's all rotated around. We'll zoom. And then we'll pan across. And that is pretty much what we started with. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed these commands. Uh, these commands are very, very useful, um, especially the, rev the revolve command. That's actually one of my favorites. I use it all the time. Um, so yeah, I hope you like this one and stay tuned for the next one. Okay, that brings us to an end for this tutorial series. If you want some more tutorials and some more training, head to autocadvids.com. Bye-bye.